Thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. Thank you for attending. Is this going to be the day? 90 minutes away, potentially, from clinching the title. Three points required. Hello, everyone. Great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And today's the day they could be crowned champions. It's Chelsea up against Newcastle United. Well, thank you, Derek. I was speaking to some fans ahead of this game and they're in buoyant mood. You'd expect them so. They're a little bit nervous as well. Can they push their team over the line? i tell you what, there's going to be some incredible scenes here if they do. Well, he really is a wily customer, whatever way you look at it. Angel Di Maria. Lee, what might we anticipate seeing from him? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So his defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, this is how we think they're going to line up, Lee, in a defensive posture, but with flexibility. Yeah, Derek, you're going to get the width from the wing-backs. The lone striker up front will need support from his midfield. Does that come from one or two, or both even? It's a very flexible system with the wing-backs being key to this. And they kick off here. Jonathan David. Di Maria now. I would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Oh, 
Well, just a reminder that in this, their last game, a victory, and they'll take the title league. Yeah, the target couldn't be clearer, really. If you offered them this at the start of the season, one game, and you'll be champions, they'll no doubt would have took that. It's just how you approach the challenge now, whether you get nervous before the game. I guess we'll find out in the next 90 minutes, Derek. Di Maria. Chelsea have designs on victory after drawing last time out against Manchester City. How do you see this game going, Lee? Well, not a lot in that game at all. 1-1 one, one draw away. But I've got a feeling they'll do a lot better today. I'm going to predict a win. Getting news of a goal in the Southampton game. Alan? It's a goal for Liverpool. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Di Maria. It looks promising. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. David. Opportunity! And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Joel Linton. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Dangerous looking attack. There's a slide through pass. And the goal! And surely that's one hand on the title. Oh, how important could that be? Just look at the fans. They're going absolutely crazy. So underway once again. Chelsea with the lead in this match. Chance to cross. And that's an important intervention. Being pressed hard. A real defensive commitment there. Retaining possession proving difficult. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Chance for Di Maria. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. So 2-0 now. Chelsea have given us away. Ward Prowse. How about the cross? And unable to keep the ball. Chelsea certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Couldn't keep it. Ball lost by Chelsea. Half-time then. Right now, they are in position to be crowned. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Throw-ins given. A menacing attack, but tidied up. Well, there is nothing quite like the FA Cup final, and you'll be able to see it live right here on EA TV. 
It's Chelsea taking on Liverpool. Well, there's few better days on the football calendar than the FA Cup final at Wembley. What a final it promises to be as well. Can't wait for that one, Derek. Wonderfully weighted pass. He's managed to get in behind. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And they are on the move again. Crossed accurately towards the far post. And the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. Oh, superb skill. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Superbly read and executed. Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse. Oh, lovely work to get past his man. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. He's driven in the corner. Well, punched clear. Useful looking ball. And he has just fractionally misfired. Yeah, he should have put his laces straight through the ball. Sometimes he can get too cute. Let's go to Alan McAnally now because there's been a goal in the Southampton match. Alan. It's a second goal for Liverpool. 67 minutes played. 2 0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Excellent challenge. Not much time left in this season, but they hold the cards to win the title. He's in behind. Oh, it's in! Well, not quite according to the script, but as things stand, they will still take the title. Well, it's just a little warning, Derek, isn't it? They've taken the foot off the pedal the last five minutes or so. Need to press a little higher for me. Surely they can't throw this away now, though. And a strong tackle. And in the second half, the signs are positive. They can't relax, Lee, but they ought to be pleased. Well, with a narrow lead and the clock ticking, it's so easy for the Chelsea players to lose concentration. Asking the referee how long to go, looking over at the bench for signals. Staying focused is a skill. Oh, they've lost it. Well time tackle. Rodrigo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And five minutes to go. And that is offside. Substitution time it is. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Ward Prowse. Kieran Clark, Jacob Murphy. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Foul there, free kick awarded. Sven Bender. Fraser. Oh, that's a fine save. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? And firing it into the area. Getting a strong fist on the ball. Ward Prowse. And a foul play, says the referee. Delivered into the box. And the referee has blown for full time. It's official now. The champions have been crowned. Absolutely top of the pile. That's all you can do when you start off pre-season. You see this moment in your mind's eye. They've got their brilliant season. It really has been. A goal to be the best team in the league. And they've hit the target. Well, Derek, there'll be definitely times this season where the form has dropped, we've had injuries, etc. Almost seems like a pipe dream to look at these moments now. But they'll celebrate long into the night, I'm sure. Well, 
Memories, memories for players in these situations, Lee. Well, it's always nice to win any trophy, cup competitions, but when you win your own domestic league, that, to me, is the pinnacle of being a player. Yeah, the table does not lie. And so, the league champions. Yeah, brilliant. They deserve it. They really have been the best team this season. And that's where you end up, top of the pile. And not by accident either. All part of the master plan. And the trophy is theirs. Well, this is the best moment for me, sharing things with the fans. They've deserved everything they've got this season. The players have, but certainly the supporters. They've given the players absolutely 100% support all season. And this is their reward. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And this is always part of the fun, Lee. The photographs. Absolutely, one for the scrapbook. Not so sure players have scrapbooks these days, but I've still got mine in the loft somewhere. So there we have it, the league champions. And they kick off here. Time for just a few questions. Thanks very much.